So there's guides to the paths that you're on. And I guess with intuition, with understanding what intuition really is, you'll see that. I keep getting pushed back to the path of a spiritual path, of an understanding, of wanting to understand existence, probably more than existence. I want to understand everything. And I know that's an impossible task. Our brains probably couldn't even handle, you know, 10% of all that knowledge that's out there in the universe. And I don't want to necessarily focus on the I, the me, the self. I think everything's about everything else, not just me. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. And when we do something, other people suffer or they have joy. And I think it's very important that we live our lives happy. We need to be happy because that's the only way forward. There's so much anger in this world already. Why are you or anyone else contributing to it? There is no way you're going to change the world with hatred. There is no way you're going to change the world with causing division. We're going down the wrong way. We've turned a corner and it's time to steer us back into something better. Or we're not going to make it. There's a lot we need to do. I don't want my child growing up in a world filled with hate and toxicity and a planet that's on fire. Yet no one seems to give a shit. And those that do seem to give a shit get shut down by various people who want to argue with them. Move past it. I'm not saying everybody needs to be like me. Hell. I address things too much. Someone comes at me and I engage them. I try to be as peaceful as I can. I try to go into a meditative, you know, um, withdrawal of, uh, you know, moving past my feelings when I'm being attacked. There's a spiritual ego too. And that's why I always question if I should even talk about this stuff. Who am I? to tell anyone anything. I'm just me. I've had experiences in my life that I can't explain that have pushed me into, uh, you know, spirituality, you know, where I believe that um, there is life after death, but I don't believe in the same type of um, dogma that any worldwide religion does. You know, I, I believe that um, each person has should have their own beliefs and, and as long as it's not hurting other people. And that goes for activism, too. If you're an activist, you're active. You're doing something, right? That doesn't mean you have to be active in engaging other people with um, your egotistical, driven hatred of them. I don't know. I think Anonymous is doing good things. I can't say that I'm sitting behind the scenes and going, haha, this is cool, you know, um, good for them. No, I'm active. And I always will be, probably. I will be active until this world changes for the better. See, what Anonymous wants to do is, for the most part, in, in my opinion, this is my opinion, a lot of Anons want people to step up, to become leaders, stop following, you know, if there's a building filled with a hundred people, do you know how many people would tell people to get out of, out of the building if it was on fire? Do you know how many? One or two. Only one or two people would step up and try to save the rest of the people. Everyone else would just sit there wide-eyed, confused because they haven't been taught to think for themselves. There's a lot of statistics on this. Are you going to sit there and watch somebody choke? Or are you going to perform the Heimlich maneuver on them before anyone else can? 
How many people are stepping forward to save that person's life? How many people are stepping forward to feed the homeless? How many people are stepping forward to house the homeless? How many people are stepping forward to do anything to make a better world? Not too many because there's not too many leaders out there. And you could tell a leader because they don't contribute to the drama. They don't contribute to the negativity. They don't contribute to the hatred. They want to move forward. They want to push humanity into a better place. We've got work to do. We've got a lot of work to do, people. And we need to do it fast. Because if we don't, our children are really going to suffer. And there ain't no lie. Anyways, I'm sorry for being so dark and depressing. I love you guys. Um, <clears throat> I want to actually have some people on, talk to them, have some vlogs, just get things going on this channel, and just have some fun, you know. Um, anyways, love you guys. Peace. You're not a dreamer if you want love and peace for humanity. It's those who want to tear us apart who have forgotten what love is. No one saves us but ourselves. No one can and no one may. We ourselves must walk the path. <laughs>